welcome to another five minute tech tip and this tech tip you're going to learn how to do a clipping mask just like this working with text and an image so you can see essentially this is what a clipping mask is right so we're going to have our text and we have an image that's going to basically kind of poke through it so the text kind of frames it so you'll see i've also added on a few other things like an effect stroke I've also added on a little bit of a background there that's going to be a gradient. So let's start from the beginning. How do we do this? How do we create a clipping mask? So I have my image right here and very simply I'm just going to put in some text and text box just like that and I'm going to type out Africa and I'm going to come over to here in this little little dandy thing. I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag just like that. And come over to my move. Drag that down a little bit. And that seems about right for now. All right. Now with clipping masks, it's important to understand about layering. I want my image to poke through this text. So kind of paradoxically, you have the image go above the text. All right, and now comes the easy part and the most fun part of all is we create the clip. So how do we do that? We hold down the Alt key, and if you're on a Mac, it's gonna be Alt Option, and just move your mouse right between where the text is and where the layer of the image meet. You're gonna see this little box and an arrow up here. Just go ahead and click once, and just like that, you've got the clip. So you can see it's coming right through. Fantastic, so we compare to what we had before. All right, awesome, pretty close. Now what I'd like to do is just add on a nice little stroke and you can add on whatever kind of effect you want to your type. So I'm gonna go over here to FX and then I'm going to put on stroke. Gives a little more dimension, a little more kind of gravitas. And if I move the window over a little bit, you'll be able to see it there. I can then just drag this over, see that a little bit more if you want to, or whatever you want to do onto this. Maybe I want to add on an outer glow, make that go a little bit more. Totally up to you how far you want to go with it. Okay, so I got that, love that. And note that even though these are now clipped together, you can move these around separately, okay? These are going to be like separate entities. So for example, if I wanted to rise the picture of the giraffe, I can very easily do that, okay? So notice I can now move him over here inside of this A, okay? Now I have that there, or I can move it this way or that way, okay? So I'm gonna hit enter, tell it that I'm done. All right, and then finally, the last thing I'm gonna do here, not really clipping mask, I'm gonna show you how we can bring in this pretty little gradient. I'm gonna come over to here to the adjustment layers. I'm gonna say gradient, choose one of my presets. I'll just do that one, why not? Click okay, drag that down to the bottom layer, and there you have it. Okay, so that is working with clipping mask, working with text, so pretty straightforward. And then definitely experiment with doing um, some other, you know, beyond basic things like, you know, resizing the images, putting some effects on there, doing a background, um, doing all kinds of good stuff with this. Um, I do have another video on working with clipping mask with two images together, not just with text. Because with text, it makes it very easy because it's a natural sort of frame for images, okay? But what happens when you're working with two images? And the example I'm using is it might be, could be a map of a country and you wanna show some stuff that lives inside of that country. It could be just like, what is what represents that country? It could be, you know, the state of California and then you've got like a bear living inside of it. it could be, you know, China and then you've got rice fields kind of coming through, you know, you kind of show the majesty of that country, whatever you want to do to kind of represent that. Okay, so that's working with text here. But in my future video, you will see that um, clipping mask working with images, very similar, but there's a few extra stuff that you got to do ahead of time. 
All right, so that was your five minute tech tip. I'm Dave Casuto, and uh, feel free to reach out with any of your requests or questions or anything through my YouTube channel and through LinkedIn and also through sftechtraining.com. And I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.